Joe Biden announced last month uh, that all U.S. troops will be out by September of this year, 20 years after the 9-11 attacks. So just to start very generally, what are your impressions of this plan? This is something that you've been thinking about for a long time. So what did you what were your impressions when Biden made this announcement? So I was very glad to hear Biden's announcement. Um, and I think that it is probably the right decision. Um, it's worth mentioning that his plan, as you say, is to withdraw by September 11th, the 20 year anniversary of the attacks. Um, a lot of people focus on that date, but we've already started the withdrawal. And just after that announcement, a senior State Department official said, or heavily implied, if didn't say quite explicitly, that we would be out well before then. And so I think we should read that date as a sort of news grabber <laughs> in the moment of the announcement, but I expect that we'll be out before then. Now, I think that it's a good thing, but the reason why I think it's a good thing and why I would have opposed the same action under the previous administration is because my hope is that when we withdraw, or really prior to a full withdrawal, we take the people who helped us with us if they want to leave. And that is fairly straightforward. It's something that there has been recent press about. It's something that there is, I believe, the political will to do. Uh, though I don't think we're moving as fast as we could be. But what I actually think we need to go further, I think we need to mount a coordinated effort with our allies and other partners to resettle Afghan citizens who are worried about what will happen when we leave. Now, I don't think the criteria should just be they're worried about it, but there are people who made life decisions based on our presence and commitment to the country, whose lives will be in direct danger by the Taliban when we leave. And I think that we have a, a moral and ethical obligation to help those people. I don't think that that obligation extends to staying in Afghanistan indefinitely, because we certainly have made things better for some people, but have we stabilized the country? Have we gotten the country to a point where it can act on its own? Have we solved the problem of violence uh, uh, directed against women, directed against minority groups? No, obviously not. We've seen that in the last 24 hours. And I don't think our continued presence will help in that regard either. But we can offer those people our protection elsewhere. What I'm concerned about mildly hopeful, although I'm getting a little bit less hopeful each day, is that we again go a step further and say female college professors, female doctors, students, uh, journalists, people who might, you know, the Taliban are not going to roll into Kabul and just start executing people randomly. They're not dumb. Like, and, and that's terrible domestic politics. But they will probably make an example out of different groups, different people, different institutions, so that everyone, you know, and, and try to force compliance with their um, interpretation of Islamic law, will try to force that compliance through probably some major acts of violence at the beginning. But because they're not going to randomly attack people, we can kind of, have a sense of like, who should we give the opportunity to get out? And that's something that I don't think we have any sort of legal obligation to do. We don't even necessarily, you know, if, if we don't take interpreters with us who want to come, people who've assisted us, that's going to harm our ability to conduct military operations with local help anywhere, because people will see that. I don't think there'll be a, the same effect if we don't offer assistance to other people. But I do think that you know, if we want to be able to sleep at night um, and if we want to live up to a, 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 an informal but sort of ethical obligation, we have to at least provide that opportunity. We don't have to bring everyone to the United States, although I think if it came to it, we should. But you know, it's a NATO operation. 
So I think that we can offer different alternatives. And many of those people won't leave. People don't like to leave their home, their homes. People are willing to fight for their homes. People are willing to give their lives for it. But I, so I, but I think we have to at least offer that as an option. Mm -hmm.